you think it was going to come this quickly? Uh, no. But you and are you ready? Know. I mean, you said you, you Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm, I'm ready for sure. Um, like I said, the past three years, that's been pretty much, you know, how I've gotten a lot of opportunity earlier on. So I'm definitely ready for it and ready to embrace it. Cam said that TJ can do abnormal things, and you guys don't necessarily have to do abnormal things to fill in for him, but how do you feel like you have to elevate your game to kind of step into that role? I feel like being me, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like I've been able to to play the game at a, at a high level when my number was called. And so I'm just looking to come in and be me. I feel like that's you know, why I was brought here. So I'm just looking forward to it. How comfortable you, were you in this defense? Right? Very comfortable. I'm, like earlier on, you know, I was trying to learn the whole defense. And then we jump into game prep and it's like, okay, we shorten down to uh, prepare for the teams. And, and so I feel comfortable more and more each day. And uh, even in the game, I feel really good. And so I'm, I'm definitely ready for it. How similar is it to what you guys were doing in Denver? I feel like um, the way defense is played are different depending on your personality. So, but some of the techniques are the same. And so, I feel like that's the big, that's been the biggest thing for me, just learning the terminology and you know what I'm saying where I fit into it. Not to talk to you yet about what your role might be going forward, coaches or teammates or anything like that. Not really. I mean, they just said we're ready for your, your role to expand. So, uh, like I said, I knew that was part of my reason for coming here. So, I've been ready for it. How much does this defense change without TJ in there? Well, I'm not sure. I know they're going to start game planning yeah. uh, for the Patriots coming up. So, I guess we'll see this upcoming week. In your time that was out there against the Bengals, did you notice anything different about their approach when TJ wasn't on the field in terms of how they were slotting protection or anything like that? Um, I think they had a whole you know, game plan set in for that left side. So even sometimes when he wasn't in, you would see the chipper still coming, the running back come, the tight end over there uh, to disrupt this pass rush and stuff like that. So they made adjustments for the left side. So I noticed that when I was in there, you know, they were still chipping on that side and stuff too. Coming away from Denver, you knew TJ was like that, but did you know that Alex had that in you know? him? The way he played yesterday. Yeah, I seen uh, I seen Alex on film a lot too. You know, and I watch the Steelers film and stuff like that, and I knew that he could do some some great things. So I was you know happy for him, and I was just amazed on the sideline being able to watch him go out there and do his thing. So, what is your relationship like with Alex? Oh, uh, it's been good. Like when I first got here, you know, he invited me, me and my wife, to his house, and uh, was so welcoming. And, if I had any questions, to answer them and things like that, it helped me get acclimated quickly. So it's been good so far. Is there a chemistry that kind of exists between linebacker tandems like that? To, you know, kind of know what each other's doing. Yeah, I think I think the the closer your group is, I feel like the better y'all play out there on the field. So just little things like that, doing stuff off the field together, I feel like builds that type of chemistry and the willingness to play for each other. Like, was that like for, the first game with these guys to go through that type of? Environment ups and downs. Yeah, it, it, it was crazy. Like I said, I think that's one of the, the craziest and best games that I, I've been a part of. And uh, just to see how the defense was flying around and turnover after turnover, uh, sacking the quarterback, and it was just amazing to see. Like when I, even when I wasn't in the game, I was just amazed. You know, watching you know what they can do and what they was capable of, and the energy and intensity that they played with. Is it gonna be weird to watch your old team tonight? Monday night football. <laughs> yeah, yeah, a little bit, but uh, I'm gonna be still rooting for that for those guys. You know what I'm saying? Like I built some some great relationships while I was there the past three years, and so I, I'm wishing them all the best, and hopefully they go out and get a, a win tonight. How do you explain? Uh, I think I filled in for Chubb and Vaughn, and it just keeps happening. I mean, I'm not saying it's your fault, but how, how do you explain? Oh, I, said, I hope you don't say it's my fault. <laughs> <laughs> how do you explain that? Uh, like you said, I'm I'm a firm believer in my faith, and like you know that God has me in each position for a reason. And like you said, we didn't know you know that a phone was gonna go down. We didn't know that Chubb was gonna go down. We know you know what's gonna happen to TJ. But uh, like being ready for the opportunity is something that I feel like has been a part of my story, and I'm just looking forward to to embracing it. Be the best version of myself. How much does that experience filling in for guys like that help you in a situation like this? A tremendous amount. Like you said, earlier on in my career, even my first year, like getting so much opportunity, getting to see different offenses and uh, how they are trying to attack our defense and just getting at those reps, like speeds volumes to, you know, the growth as a player and uh, getting better. You know what I'm saying? I feel like I got better each and every time I was on the field and each and every year too. So I'm just looking forward to this next opportunity. What is in your mind when you see TJ come out and he's telling people that he may have torn his pack? Uh, I gotta go in, <laughs> make a play. Yeah. So.
Do you feel your are you for this opportunity for a, or an increased opportunity? Uh, I'm, I have all, ultimate faith in myself always, and um, I feel like I've put in a lot of work this off season. Learned a lot last season, and um, I'm just ready to get out there and, and play. Yeah, always happy to play. Do you feel you're a better player than we were last? Oh, definitely. What way are you? Uh, well, I was actually talking to uh, Guy. Uh, I weighed in last. <laughs> Last off, uh, week one at like 232 or something like that. Mm -hmm. So definitely put in weight, put on more weight. I feel like I'm, I'm seeing things a lot better uh, pre-snap, just able to use my cues and um, just attack the line of scrimmage and put a dent in the line of scrimmage and uh, and make a play. Jameer, for yourself and for the defense, how do you make up for TJ not being in there? I feel like it, it takes all of us, you know. Um, obviously, he's the best player, the best defense player in the uh, NFL right now, and um, it's going to take all of us, all 11, out there. So it's not just on me, it's on everyone. And I feel like our defense, uh, we're really elite, as we showed this uh, last week, and uh, we're just going to keep it going. Were you able to pick up the defense again pretty quickly, having oh, been yeah. in it before? Yeah, definitely. It, it came a lot quicker, um, especially because, um, yeah, it just came quick, yeah. <laughs> Malik is new. How does he fit in? How does that work with you, with you three now? Oh yeah, he's a great player as well, and um, he's gonna be a guy that's called upon as well. Like I said, it's, it's gonna take everyone, and um, he's been doing a great job. He had a great game, and um, we're just really excited to get out there and play. When the Steelers released you last year, what was kind of their reasoning? What did they tell you? Why they had to let you go? Uh, just numbers reasons. That's all I got from it, pretty much. Yeah. You surprised to get the call to come back? Uh, yeah, very surprising, but uh, happy as well and blessed. Um, I, there's nowhere else I would have wanted to be. Uh, felt like home coming back, a lot of love, and I'm happy to be here. Was that something that motivated? Did you getting released here last year? Oh, definitely. Every, every time you get released, you know, what I'm saying it's like a slap in the face. You know, you got to use that, uh, use that, and um, use it to get better. You know, what I'm saying look at yourself in the mirror and see see what flaws you have and attack those. And that's what I did every single day. Mary, you mentioned your growth. How much have you seen Alex grow as well? Oh man, that guy's a monster. <laughs> Seeing him last week and after uh, Joe Burrow was crazy. Um, I'm really happy to be playing with one side of him and eager to learn from him as well. Some more. Thank you.